Hello everyone and welcome back to Firewatch. In our last episode we got visited by the teenagers who were skinny dipping down by the lake again. And they did something incredibly stupid. One, they're still drinking so they're obviously going to be hammered. And two, they kind of cut the cable for our communications and Delilah went a little bit homicidal. A little bit crazy but uh, out in the wilderness you're kind of going to have to expect that. But we did have to travel down to Five Mile Creek and basically we found their campsite and it looked like it had been ripped apart by a bear. So yeah, there's always that. And we also overheard a conversation that Delilah was having with a colleague about us. And then she got really pissed off when we questioned her about it. And yeah, I doubt that was the right thing to do. And she also asked about our wife who we kind of told, well, we told her honestly. Right, so board up the broken window, because we are unfortunately having to repeat a tiny bit. Oh wait, nope. Board up broken window. Uh, I forgot we can't actually toggle run. Wait, I swear we've already done this now. Yeah, we, we're done. Okay, we're ready okay. to work. I think I am ready to tackle my long-term commitment of keeping this national forest safe from total destruction. I am glad to hear you've really thought this through. <laughs> uh, of Forest? course. We've issued you a comfy chair to sit in and everything. Oh, you know, how really lovely. That comfy. It's wooden and there's no padding. I think I actually got a splinter in my thigh this morning. <laughs> Aww. Well, regardless, take a seat. The forest depends on you. Really? Do we actually... Oh. Okay. Day nine, apparently. We've skipped like a goddamn week. And we haven't actually seen that guy who was watching us from the thing of that. Uh, from the cliff. A nice Not afternoon. the thing. Um, might never leave. Oh no! Yeah, too great. Bad. I could get used to it out here. Where's that cardboard sandwich? That's nice. Look, um, I called with bad news. Oh joy! Two young women, Chelsea Stevens and Lily McLean, were reported missing. They've got parents out in California who haven't heard from them in a week. They were supposed to meet an aunt down in Cody. If they're the girls from last week, then you're probably the last person to have seen them. I ate them. Pick my teeth with the bones. Sorry, no. Um, happy to be questioned. You should tell whoever that I'm happy to be questioned. Look, it's not going to be an issue. Uh, I mean, if if they turn up dead, then maybe. I'm just assuming we should we I have to go this way. Save us the trouble. Um, it's worth mentioning. Why not? I think. I, I think it's worth mentioning something. Look yeah. at that. Uh, Holy crap. That's beautiful. I'll keep it vague. I, I really don't want to talk to the cops. And neither. why would that be, right, Delilah? Yeah, Enjoy the sunset. Oh, it's so beautiful. So, really? We've skipped another six days? Okay. Well, um, those girls... Henry. Most likely Henry, got e up. eaten by the bear. Mm, hello. Get out of bed and pick up the radio. No. Of course we want? have to. Hey, you big dumb idiot. She drunk. She's drunk. Babe, it's late or... Uh, all of these are for... Uh, Babe, sod it. It's late. I know it is. Oh, crap, it's He's Julia. Tired. Mm, I no, thought no. it was Delilah. Are you having a nice time? Lovely. Um, it's good here. I'm fine. Are you? Uh, I don't know what's right. She is like. Henry, are you having a nice time? Hold on, I'm thinking. I'm fine. Go on. Are you? Everything good there? Jules. What? Oh, sorry, Henry. Yeah, I'm good. Well, that's good. <laughs> Well, I'll let you get back to sleep then. <clears throat> okay, Jules. Delilah seems nice. Mm-hmm. Sure. Bye, baby. I smell an affair brewing. Day oh, come on! Day 33! I guess it kind of has to jump forward a bit. Because, I mean, if this was, like, even... One hour to a like one hour game time to one of our days or one of their days. I don't know. It, Is it too it just, much of a pain in the ass? I don't. To I'm gonna shut up. All the way up to our towers. Well, I get my stuff hand delivered. Oh, how's that work? It's the perks of a decade of service. 
You're out hiking in 90 degree heat, and I get to do crosswords. Isn't life miserably unfair? Anyway, when you find the supply drop, remember it's not just for you, okay? Other lookouts, biologists, a few people get their food there, and I don't want to have to call in for more. Right, there should so... be loads of good stuff, though. Beans, prunes, jerky. Mm-hmm. You know, my sister eats six prunes a day. Six. She's, like, really precise about it. She'd be great at this job if she didn't need wheelbarrows full of marijuana to function. <laughs> oh, God. I know people like that. They're kind of fun until they start getting too so, stoned and they just like, piss you off. Two weeks ago, you called me in the middle of the night. You were sleeping, I guess, and oh, all I heard crap. was the name Jules through the mumbles. And I just thought it was so sweet. I wanted to wake you up, but then I thought maybe you were having a nice conversation and I'd just be spoiling it. I hope you're doing okay, you know, when it comes to her. Ah, uh, how... I shouldn't be here. Um, I don't know. I am, I guess. Good. I'm glad. Oh, uh, look. So, a couple of months before I took this job, I... <laughs> I was with this guy. Javier. Ugh, he's incredible. Caring. Sexy as hell. Well. He was a driller down in Casper. We dated for almost five years. I was working with the Wyoming Outdoor Leadership School. Oh, we gotta school. go. I'm an idiot. I'm okay. obsessed with it. I wanted to be an instructor so badly. And I was sure I was going to marry Javier as soon as I could be bothered. Walls was also a good excuse to get out of town, drink whiskey in the mountains, cut loose. <sighs> then, um, Javier's brother got killed working in Gillette. And, <sighs> for some reason... I didn't come home. Javier said it was fine. He'd go to the funeral, take care of his mom, stuff like that. It'd be easier solo. When he came back, he left me. I came well, out damn. here and I lied and told my sister he fucked our neighbor. So Sometimes it's better to lie, I guess. I, to you. I came out here with a broken heart just like you. I figured you've told me so much about you. So, you know, there's something about me. We both fucked up. You know, except for you just had a bad relationship. Our wife, number one, has crippling Alzheimer's. So, yeah, exactly the same. You know, there, there, there's all kinds of comparisons there. Just a crappy relationship or wife with dementia. Not that it's a competition or anything. That's just, like, if you're like that, that's kind of bad. Okay. Right, we're back here. Uh, food for other lookout. Food for two forks. You know, let's just pick up our one. Wait, or should we take the other one? Moss Peak and Spruce. You know, we're just going to take ours. All right, I got everything I need out of here. Time to chow down. Just yours, right? Yep. Who do you think I am? Day 64, holy crap. Soon it's going to be like 20 years later. Oh, You've got a front crap. Seat for what might be the biggest fire of the year. Yeah really going I'm gonna call it in they'll send in a hotshot crew for some suppression but I bet we'll be stuck with her for the rest of the summer and she doesn't have a name yet I usually think of something funny or something practical or a little risque when coming up with them but why don't you do the honors um the big fire the flapjack fire um so no ideas, huh? Let, I don't know. Let's go with flapjack. That is an insult uh, for maybe we call like it the flapjack fire. I don't know. Sell that as I can't remember. You really like that, huh? Yeah, I said I did. It's funny. Fair enough. Flapjack fire it is. They'll probably ask me if it was a camp cooking accident or something. Should we, yeah, we should have gone with Delilah. For so some there's reason. There's a creek down the hill, and um, you know what my favorite thing to do is? Let me guess. What's that? I love to take a bottle oh, of whatever I, would have I have been on wrong. hand, plunge it deep into the water, and let it chill in there all day. And then, on nights like tonight, when it is so disgustingly hot... I don't know I where the hell I'm going. <laughs> I learned that from my sister in Santa Fe. She'd do that with a bottle of tequila near her house and make margaritas the size of your head. You'd like it there. Aww. 
Uh, I've had bad time with tequila. Uh, I would if I was with you. You know what? Let, let's be flirty. Why not? If I was there with you, I'm sure I would like it a lot. Are you looking at the fire? Uh, no, I'm not. Yeah, we are. You should. Let me know when you are. Oh, we got shut down. Okay. I'm looking at it again. I love how they look at night. During the day, it's just smoke, but when the sun is down, you can just get lost. Yeah. I love the fact we literally just got I'm shut here. down. Oh, maybe not. Uh, why do you say that? Um. Me too, actually. Good. We talk to the other lookouts as oh, much as I God. talk to you. I don't know no, why I'm opening this. Screw it, why not? Oh, it's probably been a while since you've connected with someone the way we have. I don't mean to get all heavy, but it's been really nice. Aww. I wish I was over there. Me too. I wish you were too. I, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just trying to play differently. <laughs> Oh, you saucy flirt. Uh, what could we what? do? What could we do? Well, let me tell you. What well, oh, hard damn. Looks like our friend Breadbox has uh, got himself a girl. Fishing without a license? Oh, it's dear. one fish, and I'm sick of all the stuff I got to eat. <laughs> no, I won't tell anyone you're a poacher. That reminds me, I keep hearing reports from Fish and Game about a problem bear they're trying to keep tabs on. Can you oh, search around the lake crap. for fresh tracks and just let me know what you find? There was a crew burning fire lines out to the east, and, um, you know, I think sometimes it riles up the wildlife. Problem bear. Oh, God. Uh, is problem or... Uh, I don't know. I don't know. actually mean murderer, like how Charles Manson is a problem cult leader? <laughs> oh, come on. You just have to look for tracks. That's it. Yeah, well, I've seen what they can do to a tree, and trees aren't even food. Maybe they could Thank be. Thank you, Henry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, we're gonna, we're gonna get eaten by a bear. Like, really? Clipboard? What is this? Oh, okay. What is this? Wait, is this ours, or...? What the... Uh, D? I found a clipboard down here, and I, uh... There's... Oh, crap. Something strange going on. At the lake? What's up? Someone has written down what we said to each other, have been saying. That doesn't make any sense. Uh, oh, crap. I don't talk to the other lookouts as much as I talk to you, not in the same way. No way. We gotta keep Hold that. On. Something's out here. Henry. Like, okay, strange noise. I'm worried. You're worried? Bet you're in your tower. I'm out here. Any mushrooms? Did you? Are nope. Making me fun, but also, you know, devastating. Nope. Regardless, just let me know, okay, Buckaroo? Oh God, I don't know why I just called. <laughs> um. Yeah, that was definitely not a bear. We just got wrapped around the head. Are you there? What happened, Henry? I... I just... I got hit in the head. Punched or something. Don't worry, somewhere. we still have our fishing pole. Are you serious? What the hell is going on out there? I don't know. I don't know. know. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me get this straight. You found a clipboard with... What? Transcripts of our conversations? What else is on it? I don't know. It's gone. Along with a radio of theirs. Somebody out here could have just killed me, Delilah. I don't... What the fuck is going on? What's... I Station? don't know. I I, I... I don't know. I saw the name Wapiti Station right before I was cold cocked. Does Wapiti Station mean anything to you? Um... Uh, Wapiti Meadow. Maybe it's Wapiti Meadow. It's... It's on our maps. It's not too far from where you are right now. It's north of the lake. It, it looks like there should be a trail somewhere on the north shore of Jonesy Lake. I'll, uh, Found I'll it. start hiking that way now. God damn it, my head. Are you... Are you sure you saw what 
what you saw, Henry. Yes. They pissed off some more campers, and they came back to sucker punch you. I know what I saw. Definitely. The oh, there are people listening. Seems like a, no. Like a misunderstanding or something. Look, nope. I know what I saw. Hey, it was our words with initials for our names, what H and D, hell? clear as day. And you've been feeling okay? I feel fine. Okay. Okay, I'm sorry. I, I believe you, but that conversation was from two weeks ago. I know yep. Were. So yep, I know. What's to say that they don't have transcripts from three, four, or five weeks ago? Our entire relationship, friendship, our, our whole summer. Someone right. is out here with the walkie-talkie taking notes and talking Cash to God knows who. Um, I'll get to the bottom of, bottom of this. Why not? Answers. Great. Just keep a clear head. Don't, you know, do anything crazy. Like taking a job in the middle of nowhere with literally no escape from whatever or whoever is out there? <laughs> I meant, yeah, like, there's always that. You got it, boss. Old sweaty University of Eastern Colorado. Ah, uh, you know, I, I don't know why I picked this up. Oh, God. Right. Uh, yeah, we might as well keep this as well. Okay, so some weird stuff is happening, and it seems... I, I'm not liking how this, uh... How this is kind of panning out. Like, the whole kind of recording this episode. Because it seems... I don't like jump cuts at the best of times, let alone when I'm forced to do them. Well, they're not, you know... Time, time skips. Whatever you want to call them. I'm not entirely comfortable because it feels like I'm missing so much stuff. I know I'm not, but it feels that way, you know? But there is something fishy going on here. And that is really weird. Why would... Why would someone balance that like that? Okay, so how far? Is it just a... Yeah, it's just a single tr uh, track now. Okay, this should be easy unless we get jumped again. Surely you would have heard something. Like, really? Really, Henry? You didn't? Oh, God. We can't chop it down because we haven't got an axe. I'm going to ha go ahead and guess that we're going to get an axe at some point. Um. Wait. Report fence. Whoa, Delilah. There's a big chain link fence between me and the meadow. I, I don't think I can get past it. Uh, a fence? Yeah. How big? Big. It goes off in both directions. Acres. What, what the fuck is going on out here? Whatever it is, someone doesn't want anyone to know about it. Sometimes biologists will cordon off a little area to study flora or whatever, but that's only a few square feet, usually. That's not what this is. <sighs> well, see what you can do to get past it. Yeah, I've tried to get in here before. No dice. Okay. Um, I've, I've given it the good college try. So no dice. God damn it. I don't know how long I can dick around out here until someone notices. God, they probably an already have. Firefighter, you'd have that gate down in two shakes. Hey, actually, those guys doing the controlled burn, they might be able to help. Where are they? Beyond Ruby River, there's a scout camp. They burned a line a few days ago that should let you hike right to them. Well, that's great. If they haven't left, they're probably the type of guys who would help you get through that fence. Oh my god, are you kidding? All the way down there? South of Ruby... Where, well, there's Ruby River... Uh, I can't... Uh, 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 Ruby River... And... That, wait, what? Really? Oh, good merciful god. Right, you know what? I want to go over here, if we can. We cannot, apparently. Yeah, okay. I can take a hint. We're getting through that gate. You can... Bet your sweet ass we are. But, I don't know, who who the hell could be listening and why? And specifically, why me and Delilah? That's also a good question. Oh, my good God. Right, so let's just keep our compass out, because I know that we got to go southeast, roughly. Are we back down? Okay, we've got to go this way. Back round by the lake, and then we can follow the track all the way round. Whilst keeping a lookout for a goddamn bear. Because we know there are bears around here. And one problem, open air quote, bear. But I don't know, we're going to have to see. 
Is this just... Really? Okay, so I'm guessing we're going to be getting a few, like, a few different tools, like the axe and stuff, maybe. Come on, we got to have an axe, because we could have chopped down that tree, but we couldn't, because no axe. No axe, no dice. Now, I wonder if we can venture off the path over here. And just have a little look around, because we haven't really explored that much. If that makes sense, just, like, randomly, I don't just mean following a path. You know, through the bracken. I hear ducks, but that's about it. We n I have no idea what that noise is. I know one's a duck, but what's that kind of squeaking noise? Definitely wouldn't be a duckling. Or a gosling. I don't know. And by gosling, I don't mean Ryan Gosling. Shut up. Okay, southeast. Okay, it's just music, sorry. <laughs> My mind is still in kind of a uh, wick mode. So whenever I hear music, it's like instant, like, heart-wrenching, like, no. Who's coming? Speaking of which, our episode from last night was actually pretty damn good. We finally met Caleb, also known as the Mole Man. That was not fun. And we actually got double teamed as well by Tim and Tom. Right, let's have a look. So, campfire smoke. But why? There is no campfire smoke. Or was that... Oh, that was from the teenagers. Oh, okay, so at least they don't, like, wipe the map away. That's good. Right. So we've got to climb... If we can even see ourselves. Climb up here. Okay. We got it. Um, hey, I called around. Things seem normal with everyone else. Of course they are. Um, anything strange with you? Oh no, are the lookouts telling the truth? Well, are, are the other lookouts telling the truth? Of course, why wouldn't they be? I don't know, maybe someone told them not to. You're suggesting that you and I are actually being watched by whom exactly? Not a clue. Um... Don't know. I don't we, know, We can't. <laughs> yeah. Someone who is telling folks I've worked with for years to, to lie? Big Brother is not casting a shadow on the Shoshone, Henry. They might you be. Seen this clipboard, Delilah. Yeah, I guess I should have. Oh, right. she's not gonna believe us. The camp anyway. Okay. Keep your radio close to you. Hey, what you just said. Keep my radio close to me. Yeah. Before I got attacked back at the lake, I saw a radio on the ground, kind of like the one I use. And? Do you think that maybe someone? Tell her it was red. I don't know. What? Oh my god. Maybe intercepting our frequency. This with woman other is an idiot. Or, or something. hiding something. Henry. It's just a thought. I, I don't even know how you would do that. Yeah, well, you sound worried. No, I'm not. Okay, let's not spin out of control. Just keep hiking. Whatever you say, boss. Oh, she's scared well, as hell. An old, um, I think it's called a medicine wheel out here? Yeah, it was made by Crow American Indians hundreds of years ago. There are lots of small ones. Um, have you ever been to Medicine Wheel Monument over in the Bighorns? Well, I sure haven't. Well, it's worth a three-hour detour on the way home in August. Oh, oh great. I'll keep it in mind. Right, so we are heading through somewhere that has been badly burnt by the looks of things. I found where they did the controlled burn. I can hike right through here now. Yeah, normally they wouldn't do that so close to a body of water, but I think they're extra worried about a fire jumping the river and burning up to two forks, now that there's someone in it. Well, I'm extra appreciative of that. Ooh. Let's see. The scout camp is southeast of the river. There should be a pond on the way. Got it. Wait, I want to report the recent burn. Let me do it. What happens if a controlled burn gets out of control? Someone gets fired. Fair enough. Are you serious? Oh, come on. That one was an honest accident. I'm not even in the mood for wordplay. That's how wound up all this shit has me. Okay, these books are kind of pointless. What was that rustling? Right. Where do we need to go? Okay, just follow the track. We don't know what's going on yet. I don't have a good feeling. I don't like feeling vulnerable. 
It's not like you can just call the police. I was thinking about the good ones. It just struck me that if anything weird like this happened to them, happened to Brian, just how scared he would have been. What the? Um. His dad hey, could protect his dad him. To protect him. Ned, right? Yeah. You don't think he could? No, you're you're probably right. Why is there a ski it was three here? Years ago, he's in high school now. He's on summer break. Yeah, you're right. You're right. Can we really not report a freaking ski here? Are you kidding? Right. Okay, so just head east now. We are just past the big tree. Nice little landmark. Do 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 do. This is a long old trek. Hopefully we can actually get to the bottom of who's, you know, surveying us. Maybe it's Javier. Who knows? Maybe it's Julia. Might be jealous, who knows? I don't know. Nobody knows. Well, except for, you know, the people that's played it. This is suspicious. What's this? There's some old snowmobiles out here. That's crazy. Looks like one of the poor bastards was cruising across this pond and dumped it. That was not a fun hike back to civilization. Whoa, someone stripped these snowmobiles down to the bone. Huh. I mean, that's weird, right? I mean, I can come up with a bunch of not weird reasons someone would do that out here, but given what's happened, yeah. Yeah, that's weird. She's being weird. Uh, there's an old pond out here, not much more than a pile of mud. Uh, do, do you have it on your map? Ah, uh, yeah, I know where you are. Yeah, where am I? Cork Pond. There used to be a sign up for it, but, um, well, folks kept stealing it. <laughs> uh, because it's called Pork Pond? It's a good goddamn name. That sign would look great in a den, or, you know, anywhere. Yeah, fair enough. Yeah, is it me or is Delilah acting very strange? Camp Arapaho. You're there? Yeah, I am. <sighs> it's been out there since the 50s. I was never really into the idea of the scouts. The bridge to the camp is out. Damn. I'm gonna walk the ravine and see if I can find some high ground to get across. Do Good do time. do do. Uh, I'm guessing it's gonna be this way. I mean, a convenient, f a convenient part of the fence is broken down. And now we're going to get ambushed by something, let me guess. This is normally the kind of area where you would see a bloody boss fight. In any normal game, that is. Um, so we just got to find the guys we're looking for, and I cannot remember their name. You ever talked to any of the scouts? Mm, no, they haven't been out here in a while, and I generally don't have a lot to say to preteens. Unless it's fair. a good one. Well, if forced, I mean, I can make conversation with anyone. Plus, it was sort of fun to hear about all of his nerdy hobbies. Uh, I guess these little shelters are where they keep the weeblos. For the past 35 years, yeah. Not anymore. Oh, bear trap. There are bear traps out here, in the scout shelters. Scouts are stalwart prey. That's messed up. <laughs> Sometimes Delilah's funny, and then she goes really weird for some reason. I don't know. I'm getting la I'm getting less and less trustful. Yeah, these guys are gone. I found where they Ooh. were sitting around before getting. Hello. Damn. Oh, memo. Hmm. Hey, D. They left something behind. It's uh, like a memo from their boss. That say anything of note? Uh, next few days, dropping into the thoroughfare on behalf of Doctor Simmons at Wapiti Station. Wapiti Station. Holy crap. Keep reading. Well, oh crap. Oh, I just thought I would maybe, you know, stop there, let the mystery percolate. My mother always said I would need someone to give me a taste of my own medicine. <laughs> They're running a research site out there. Uh, he was worried about wildfires. Someone is writing down our conversations. And now we find out there's a research site out here that 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 we don't know about. What are they researching? Um us, I guess. They're researching us. You you think they're studying you and me? Well, isolation out here can be a yeah. bit of a bitch. Maybe it's about studying two strangers who talk every day. Like, Mine. If you put someone in isolation with someone else, what they do? Yeah, that's what I think. 
Well, fuck that. Agreed. Social experiment. I should allow for the possibility that this is all just a big misunderstanding, but... Hell God, no. I saw what you said you did. Fuck, Henry. Yeah, I saw it. Okay. So what's next? Well, I've got an axe, so I can figure out a way to get over the ravine and back towards the site. Sweet. Sounds Chop good. it down. Chicken when you can, and keep an eye out for anyone following you. Well, uh, I don't think anyone's going to be following our system. Holy crap, that was loud. Sorry, guys. Yeah, if anyone's following us this time, we have an axe. So, you know, I'm going to be okay if they're following us. Right, where are we now? Okay, so we're going to be going back around to Pork Pond. Wait a second. If we're going to be using the axe to chop through Whoppity Station Padlock, we can also jump down into the cave and break the lock on there as well and see what's in the cave. Just an idea, I don't know. I think I'm gonna run with that idea though. Oh, good god, okay. Um Are you there? I I had a thought. Go ahead. Hear it. You heard someone in the bushes. Yes. yes. Okay, so let's assume we're being tailed. Or you are, at least. Where are you right now? Pork Just pond. On my way back, in and out of trees in the middle of nowhere. Do you see anybody? No, definitely not. All right, so uh, tell me what you think of this. What the hell was that? Did you just cough? No. Did you just cough? No. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. Um. There isn't any way someone, like another lookout, could be on this line, is there? No. Not without tapping our radios. What about when I heard you talking to someone else? I just left your line open. That's not what this is. Get in your tower, shut the door. Don't leave and don't use your radio. I'll call you. Understand? I this will is, call this you. This is getting really weird. Holy crap. Oh, this is kind of scarily weird now. Thoroughfare Tower, this is Two Forks calling you for the... Oh, 50th time today. The flapjack fire continues to move in a southerly fashion. Delilah, for fuck's sake, answer your radio. Hello, sunshine. Sorry, went out for a little bit. What can I do you for? Are you kidding? Really? Why are you so I chipper? I sleep a wink last night, and I've been going crazy for the past six hours of sunup. How are you so chipper? Well, it's a new day. Are you kidding? What a day, this day we've been given. Maybe I am actually asleep right now. Maybe I didn't stay up all night knowing that someone is... I actually slept just great. Uh, okay. By the way, I was wondering if your flora of the Shoshone info poster was still up inside your tower? Yep. What? It's just protocol that those stay up. You know, info about your tower, the surrounding tree species, etc. Okay, now I'm weirded uh, out. Uh, alright. Just, you know, have a look at it. Make sure it's in ship shape. Okay, yeah, it's up. Why are you acting like this? Great. Just wonderful. Do you see the second tree from in the, the left. top row, second Cotton from the Cottonwood, populous. Sure. Um, it's the, uh... Angus no. de Floria? Don't I don't know. tell me, just, um... Internalize it. it. It's a great tree. And there's an area called, um, that tree's name in your sector that maybe you should take a midday hike to. Maybe. Wait. Reply. Would you just... Thank oh, you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Um, maybe I should go for a hike. Nothing like an afternoon in the Rockies, I tell ya. Radio me the moment ah, you I, s I see what she's doing. Okay. Go to Cottonwood creek oh, okay by the big tree but unfortunately guys i am going to be leaving the episode off here because it's going to give me a bit more incentive to be a bit more enthusiastic on coming back here you know like what we are kind of like at the moment with unravel because i i love the absolute living crap out of that game but shit is getting really weird and i'm kind of loving it Right, first thing we're going to be doing next episode though we're going to bust into that cave of the axe see what's down there and we're going to break the lock on uh I can't that meadow. I cannot remember the place of it. What I, I I'm not even going to attempt it. 
So both the padlocks are going to go. We're going to go down to the big tree as well. Which are going to be seeing what's what around this place. And maybe talk to Delilah in a bit more of an honest way. You know, because she's she was being a little bit secretive and weird during this episode. I'm not, I'm not sure. But anyway, guys. Sorry is a bit of a slow one. But it did pick up in the end. you got to admit that. <clears throat> but if you did enjoy the episode, please leave a like down below to let me know that you're still enjoying the series and you want to see a little bit more. Also, if you have any opinions on like... Um, if, like if I, if you want me to change the way I record or the commentary or anything like that, just drop it down in the comments below. Or if you have any suggestions suggestions for games for us to play or anything like that, I would be very interested in hearing that. And sorry if you heard the dog barking. That is my evil Great Dane downstairs. And until next time, guys, I shall see you all later.